Today, I'm going to show you how to throw a Harry Potter birthday party that's not just for kids. Everything from decor to food to activities. Let's get started. The first thing you need to decide on is if you're going to do an overall Harry Potter party or if you're going to focus in on just one theme. This was a surprise birthday party for my sister's 30th birthday. And when we first walked into the house, you walked into the shell cottage that was featured in the last book of the Harry Potter series. So we had bits of the beach and we had potions from the ocean that you saw in some previous videos. We even made a border in the room of the um, shell mosaic that you found throughout the shell cottage. Next, you went into the dining room where we had a tablescape that felt very iconic Harry Potter. When we moved into the kitchen, we had wanted posters and daily profits showing Harry Potter undesirable number one. For food, we kept things simple. We had um, vegetables that we put in cauldrons, chocolate frogs, golden snitches made out of Ferrero Rocher balls, pumpkin pasties, as well as pulled pork that we called pulled hogwarts. We had hagrids, um, mashed potatoes, and then we also had a herbology salad. And we gave a sweet ending with a Marauder's Map 30th birthday cake. When we move outside, we had done some spiders that were attacking the deck that looked like they were emerging from the dark forest. We also did some activities outside where we played Quidditch beer pong. We made these great hoops out of um, wire and old beer bottles. When we moved back inside, we had a candy station set up that had things like cauldron corn, dementor kisses, spider eyes, things that were very appealing and appetizing. Then we walked into the Gryffindor common room. So we decorated the fireplace with a great Gryffindor pennant banner, put in some cauldrons on the sides with a Hogwarts and Gryffindor flag. We even had Sirius Black um, greeting us in the fireplace, giving us a sacred message. Some of the details in the decor that made this give it a really special feeling were the rolled parchment homework pieces, LED candles, old books, things that were going to bring us back into that Gryffindor common room, even a jar of quills and ink. We even took the decor one step further and sprinkled the coffee table with daily profits and quibbler magazines. We transitioned into the next room with the great potions that we've created along the way with some of my other videos. And on the way, we went to the bathroom where we have the um, old window that's got the mermaid from the fourth book and Moaning Myrtle is watching in the mirror. As we head into the Great Hall, you are stopped by a bunch of flying keys that you had to pass through in order to enter into the Great Hall. In the Great Hall, we used things like um, the corrugated brick cardboard and black landscaping fabric to drape from the ceiling in order to give it a great feel. We then hung floating candles. Some were from the dollar store and some were handmade. And we have on the front a mural of the professors that would be sitting there while you're eating in the Great Hall. Some of the activities that we had to keep the adults entertained were a Harry Potter drinking game, as well as Quidditch beer pong, and Trivial Pursuit. And the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit was a great hit. It let everybody really um, show off their Harry Potter knowledge. Um, I hope this will help you to throw a really great Harry Potter party, whether it's for kids or adults. Um, I feel like a lot of the decor and food options would be translucent into both um, realms of Harry Potter parties. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.